It's a common TV crime show trope. No suspects, little evidence, until an investigator finds a lipstick mark. The sample is sent away to the lab and boom, the suspect is in handcuffs. In reality, forensic analysis is not that fast or straightforward, but scientists are making progress. Brian Bellett and his team at Western Illinois University have developed a new way to lift lipstick samples and found the best way to analyze them. They're presenting their research at a meeting of the American Chemical Society in San Diego. Lifting and analyzing lipstick samples can often require costly equipment and specialized training. My method actually can be run by a bachelor's level or even a master's level student or, or a scientist in that they just have to cut out the sample and it's a simple extraction procedure, something they would learn in sophomore organic chemistry. They simply add an organic solvent to get rid of the oils and waxes, then add a different solvent to lift the remaining residue. The team then uses gas chromatography to find molecules unique to 40 different brands of lipsticks. Each lipstick has at least two or three components which are different from the rest. Bellet says forensic labs can adopt this new process as is, with no new equipment or training needed. He also says his lab is working on expanding the library of samples so crime labs everywhere can use his new cosmetic chemistry to pin perps.